Peace, peace, peace. How y'all doing? It's here to do inspiration. How y'all doing? It's a great day. It's a great day. Feathers up if you don't know. We're still living it. We're not just talking. You dig? It's a great day. You know, it's windy right now when it's extra cold, man. It's extra cold. But you know what? That's not going to stop us from stepping outside to get to get in this frequency because I think it's the most uh, a very important sequence that's, that's definitely going on and taking place because other originals have noticed this too as far as it's been getting uh, it was getting very warm it was getting very warm if y'all saw in the video I remember uh, before I was outside I was I was I had bro I had my sweatpants rolled up and I, had, I was barefoot in the set I was barefoot in the, uh, in the grass I had my feet in the soil I had my feet in the soil bro y'all saw that it was that warm. That was like the warmest day we ever had. And I've been living in Michigan. Ice cold Michigan, yeah. It's a tropical land, you know, the American continent. You know, we the, we the richest land in the whole world, you yeah, dig? That's where everybody, all these foreigners, they come here, steal from the riches. You know what I'm saying? We can never be broke, because we already rich. Shout out to Bam, American Airways, because he said that. I said, which is true. We can never be broke, we already rich. This is so great. <sighs> but uh, I think it's just everyone, all the originals were just thrown away. Like, how the frick does it get so hot? Like, especially just in different states too as well. Like, they noticed that it was getting hot. And then all of a sudden, nigga, it's cold. Like, it's bare cold. Like, what the frick? It's like a pattern disrupt. We're not even supposed to get cold. I'm talking about this whole continent, nigga. This whole continent, nigga. It's a tropical continent. It's a tropical land. You can look at the old maps, nigga. You can see that it was tropical. There's sure that it was tropical. They had the fruits or whatnot. They're doing stuff in order to alter the weather, man. I'm trying to stop this thing, yo. Shout out to DJ Gambler. The DJ Gambler pointed out that the corona virus has to do with the sun. It's another word for corona, the sun. You know what I'm saying? Cause they trying to, they've been trying to stop this sun. I'm like, you know, I don't know what the hell they're doing. I think they're just getting desperate and whatnot. Uh, I'm not worried. Y'all know I'm not worried about the coronavirus. Cause we, you know, we know how to heal ourselves. We know how to heal ourselves, you know? Uh, you know the practices that we do and whatnot in order to heal ourselves. Not everyone knows how to do that. But, uh, well, we not do that, so that's why we're not worried. That's why you... See us, we don't, we don't need a mask. <laughs> we don't need any gloves. We don't need any Perel. You know, we don't need any hand sanitizer. We don't need any bleach. You know? We just don't need it. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It's very great right now. <sighs> It's very great, great opportunity. I'm just glad I still got the chance, you know, to not let this hinder me. Not, not, not let this hinder me. Still be able to go outside. Still receive what I had to receive. You know that? Because a lot of people are missing out on this. A lot of people boxed in, you feel me? That is, but I move the heck away from it. It's a goddamn shame. Uh, as I was talking, as I was looking back, as I saw somebody looking at me, this some dude stepped out because all of his stuff and all of his belongings were outside, and he's waiting. And he's step out because I guess he thinking somebody gonna steal everything the last time what he had what he does have or something like that <sighs> you know a lot of people facing challenges because of this uh, this recession coronavirus pandemic Shoot, be careful, it's broken glass.
Yeah, this is yeah, this is this is uh, You again. Yep, me. Uh, but yeah, that was that was just something I was taking in. I mean, it's it's kind of it's different. Maybe mm-hmm. it's something that's as far as taking in, as far as letting my letting myself know what I can do to bounce back harder. Off of. Can't be out here. Can't be out here like that, especially at that age, man. Because that just shows a reflection in your mind. Because, like, especially if you were well enough, old enough, what did you do? What did you do? What books did you invest? And do what books did you invest in yourself? With what courses? What teachers? What mentors did you find? Huh? Who did you try to get me? Who did you try to get in touch with? What practices did you change? You got to do something new. You got to do something different so you don't end up like that. I'm gonna just use that as a fact that it's to be, you know, to continuously go hard. Continuously go hard. You know, well, not necessarily hard or necessarily, you know, work more efficient as far as I'll never know. That's what we mean. Yeah, I'm just thinking to myself that life is supposed to be a constant struggle. That's why if I got my device closed. So y'all can hear me. Life isn't always supposed to be a constant struggle. Because if that's what it was, that's what a lot of my childhood was. And that's what life is supposed to be like. We gotta strive, we gotta be better, we gotta be excellent, y'all. If you wanna be strive, you wanna be better, you wanna be excellent, you can book a one on one coaching session. Uh, we have the information in the description box below. Or you can just DM us on Instagram at Healing Through Inspiration. That's what we respond to faster. Uh, we got the coronavirus virus, coronavirus proof course. That's gonna be uh, in the description box for you guys. And the OFA challenge, if you're serious about changing your life too, is to start a business as well. All right, peace, love, and like, guys.